So, what did you guys think? Did you like the new track with Bayo and Danielle Marie? I definitely had an absolutely phenomenal, fun time making it. So, shout out to you guys for listening to it. Very, very grateful. Today, we're going to do a little breakdown as to how I made this song. I'm uh, showing you the wrong screen, showing you my Chrome. Hold on a sec. There we go. Today, we're going to be doing a breakdown as to how we made the song, how I produced the song, how they put their vocals in. I'm very excited about this. Uh, shout out to the subscribers that also helped me make this as well because shout out to Nick F who made the um, album art. Shout out to Ian Sue who played a little guitar in here. Uh, we'll get into that though. But let's get right into this. I hope that you guys um, learn something. I hope that you guys have fun. Uh, if you make music yourself, hopefully you pick something up. It all came from, it all started with this drum, uh, sorry, this, this guitar part right here. This loop that I found on Splice. I use Splice for all my samples. This is what it originally sounded like. Nice stereo sound. Kind of has that Post Malone kind of vibe. But what I do is I added some Magic Switch, which is a, uh, a chorus. I added some EQ. And I added some Phaser. The EQ looks like this. A little brightness to it and the Phaser which kind of gives a swishy kind of sound. I'll just show you just the magic switch stuff at first. So this is nothing. And this is with the magic switch. A little bit of movement. EQ, a little brighter, and now phaser. All this kind of swishy kind of movement stuff just kind of repeats over and over again. Pretty much throughout the whole song. Now, then this, the, the main two parts, with the, or three parts, were that guitar riff, uh, these drums I'm about to show you and the bass. So let me actually show you these drums really quick Because uh, they actually come from a really interesting splice sample. I'll show you the splice and let's go right into here This is splice where I get all my samples from type this in. This is the drum sample. This is the original sample And it just repeats like that so this really crunchy dirty sample So what I did is I chopped it up a bit and, and made it even crunchier. This is your this is See how it, 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 it's not as driving uh, as opposed to this splice one where it's driving a little bit more. Let me lower the volume a little bit. There we go. So it, it has this uh, slight, it, I took out some of the rhythm and then I made it a little crunchier. And add a little <laughs> reverb. Then we take this 808 bass. These are the three main parts of the song and then it just goes pretty much to the, I think it's the one, co one chord to the four chord. Actually, four to one, I'm sorry. Hear that higher pitched one? That's so it can be heard through the speakers of um, of like iPhones and stuff. We're gonna get into Bayo's vocals in a second. I wanna show you these synths right here. All of these synths are actually the exact synths just pitched down from the key, I think of C originally. Uh, for my song, How You Feeling, I've used, reused those synthesizers so many times just because I like the way that they sound. I really, I really do. So this is the synth. There's uh, three of them. There's this pad synth. There's this melody synth. And then there's this high pulsing synth. Add them all together. And those go pretty much throughout the song. Um, let's go to now talk about uh, some of the other rhythm sections that we have, and then we'll go into Bayo's vocals. So we have, like I told you, these drums. The, the main, main drums with the verses. But we also have, this came from the track, it might have been How You're Feeling, but it also might have been this track with Emily Shu. I think I might have used it in Emily Shu's track. Um, uh, not How You're Feeling, but um, uh, what's that called? Uh, I think For the Hurting. So I EQ'd it tremendously. These are the original drums. And I EQ'd it. Because I just wanted that upper frequency. Then we got a shaker going on. So we'll throw in a shaker. Shaker comes in over here. And then these. this is the chorus. So the, we have chorus drums. So cool, like smacky style drums. So this is what they originally sounded like, actually. If I turned it all off, just these drums sound like just like this. And I chopped them up again, kind of similar. But I did something called parallel compression, which is where you smack it with compression. And it gives that really dirty vibe. Throwing all the drums in that we have right here. Whole drum section. 
have snare rolls, we have... This right here came from the song with Emily Stewart. Those are the drums right there. So, let's go to Bayo's vocals. Actually, the funny part is I really like the demo vocals that he sent me. So I actually kept them in there as layered vocals. These are the original day demo. We finally found home. Well, I love still. And I actually split it to kind of make it sound a little fuller. Um, and, but these are his vocals right here. We got a couple things going on. We have auto-tune vocals up and I guess technically two layers of doubles in the main vocal. The night lights wild and we're living so young and me and my girl we finally found home. Dancing in the stars where our love still grows. Honey, your hands seeing your cheeks still glow. These are Put a little bit of, uh, these are the effects we had. We had um, some EQ, taking a little bit of the low end, pretty much similar to most of the vocals. A, a CLA vocals, I'm a big fan of this this plugin. It works really well, especially I like it on my voice a lot. A de -esser and a compressor. Um, so the times I'm gonna stick. Probably about under five deep, uh, BPM. Not BPM, I'm sorry, uh, DBs. Um, all right, let's talk about some of the synths we hear in the chorus. One of my favorite parts, uh, actually I love this part, is this little synth that we hear. Actually layered with Jacob Restituto, whoa, 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 vocals. You hear that? A little bit of chorus on that. But we have two synthesizers. One being, I believe they're actually both retro synth. Uh, slightly different effects. This is the table. A little bit crusher on there. This is the uh, analog synth. When you lay them together. Let's go into now my vocals. We have a bunch of layers in my vocals in the chorus. We have three layers right here. Um, panned, hard panning. If you look at the panning, actually, you see that they might have panned completely to the left, completely to the right, and then one in the center. So th these are the actual, uh, like, side vocals. We get up to go out and hit the city. The night life is our life, because when you're with me, the good... Then we add the main vocal in there, which actually has some gated echo. So when I'm singing, I love... This is one of my favorite things about this, this plugin right here. This is the... Um, uh, Native Instruments uh, Replica XT, my favorite delay plugin. You can actually gate the vocal, the 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 um, like almost like sidechain almost with gating the um, um, the delay, so that when you're singing, it's not heard only when you stop singing. Watch. We get up to go out and hit the city. The night life is See how up. it's reducing the volume while I'm singing. Now, if I turn that gate off. Life, cause when you're with me, the good times. See that? Put that back on. Times are right times, cause they're all we know. See that? I'm a big fan of that. Layer all the vocals together, and this is what we have. We get up to go out and hit the city. The night life is. What we got on the vocals is we have some pitch correction. I like the. It's not doing a ton. It just adds a little bit of flavor. I like the flavor that it adds, cause I actually, all the vocals, including mine, Danielle's, and Bayo's, I actually go in there and actually, I, I've been using. For the past couple of years, this uh, flex pitch within Logic, I really love where you can, how you can see where it is in the beat and you can line the, the music. Um, I used to use Melodyne all the time, but it was because it's an external plugin, it was kind of annoying that it had to bounce it. And um, then we EQ'd it a bit, compress one compressor, I compressed like three or four, um, another compressor again to not overload the first one. So do another three, a de-esser. Uh, CLA vocals really like the way that it look this is without the CLA vocals actually get up to go out and hit the city the night. I like the brightness it adds and then we have that echo that I told you about um, so let's close up oh, hold on my bad oops window main window there we go okay so continuing along let's go to uh, let's go to let me show you some heart oh this is really cool actually let's go to right here listen to all this this is the second course around this is my vocals. We get up to go out and hit the city. The night life is our life. Yeah, you hear though? Okay, so we got some harmonies coming through. But we also have, so these are the harmonies. Get up, go out. You can hear me moving. Night life, our life. But this is my favorite, the vocoder. This is the vocoder right here. Isotope vocal synth too. Big fan of And obviously now if we were to layer all these with the layered vocals, the harmonies, we actually have Danielle coming in as this section as well. Her, her vocals are down here. 
So if we layer this, this is what it's actually, let's go to here because there's four layers of her vocals here. Go right here. We get up to go out and hit the city. Four layers of her vocal. Very similar processing to my vocals, just a slightly different on like the um, CLA vocals. Uh, compress. I'm surprised I compressed it first, actually. I don't usually do that. That's interesting. Um, that's very interesting. Oh, you know why? Because I originally had these in a group and I just wanted to compress this one in the group and then I actually took them out of the group and then added the effects to each individual layer. That's why. Um, all right, let's, let's hurry this up. This is getting longer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> uh, let's show you Danielle's vocals. These are really cool. Um, you can actually watch him making the whole song on live stream if you want to go back and watch it. So here we go. This is main Gonna vocal. Break out from inside. So we actually automated this, uh, uh, this right here, uh, bus two has this reverb on here that's side chain to the vocals. This is Danielle's vocals, this is my vocal, and this is Bayo's vocal. Um, they're all side chain to this so that when, uh, so that it's very similar to the ducking I was talking about where um, it stops playing when the person's singing and then it comes in. So look at this actually. So no, so I turn this off right here. Gonna break out from inside. But if we were just to listen here, listen to how we have to get the reverb through us right here. Your fingers wrapped in mine. We Hear stand that? the test of time. Not enough to like turn throw. my head, it's true. Like you can actually watch it being like thrown in there. I really like it, but it's also compressing it, so if you watch. Gonna break out from inside under the stars. Uh, that's sorry, right here. Was wrapped in mine. We and as the compressor goes down, you can actually hear it. So we got very similar vocals, but we're just layering again. Um, couple different layers. I really like the four layer move here. Har harmonies. We stand the test of time. And layered octaves. So we have left and right for her main vocal and then a uh, harmony. Your fingers wrapped in mine. We stand the test. Now, when I was originally making this song, I was having trouble with a uh, replica XT because I have like I have the Mac M1 that I work on and it's not super compatible always with some older plugins. So I just had the regular logic delay on here. Eyes. Which I would have, there's not as much control as like the replica, whatever. Uh, last section let's talk about is the guitar part. Shout out to Ian who sent these two guitar tracks right here. Um, I only ended up using it a little at towards the end right here and in the bridge. So here we have. So this is his drive so I could affect it myself. And then, actually, I'll go over here so you can hear it like for a little bit longer. And we have also a dotted eighth note delay. Oh, I forgot about this one. Then I then I sampled delayed it so you can split it so it sound wider. Listen to this. Without, with. Yeah, it's wider. A little EQ. Then he sent this sick guitar solo that I ended up chopping up to kind of phrase it slightly different. But this is it. Actually, let me show you the dry version. This is the dry version. So then I compressed it. Then I put an amp on. Then I put some delay on and a little bit of EQ. And then this is um, the parallel compression. And this is a little bit of reverb. So here it is, the main thing. But if I actually showed you this, you could see that um, he had a whole solo that I, hit, I chopped up. Just these only sections of it. And then we have massive layers here. So this is me and Danielle. And, and it's just massive layers right here. This is just Danielle. Just tell me what you're thinking. Do you feel And then we have me over here with layered vocal. Uh, tell me what you uh, a set, a different harm. Uh, yes, a different harmony. No, this is the main melody actually. Vocoder, this is a harmony, and then two more layers. We have way layers of song. Tell me what you're thinking. Do you feel? Just tell me what you're thinking. Do you feel way for you? I think we might be something. Just tell me what you're thinking. 
And then, lastly, we end with a fade out. Shout out to Karen for bringing this up. That's very funny. Um, oh, well, we also have the synth in the chorus. Randomly. Um, I usually hate fade outs. The reason I hate fade outs is because usually artists do them with like there's like a ripping guitar solo and they're, like fading out the guitar solo. I'm like, I still want to hear the guitar solo. I don't mind the fade out when it's just like the same repeating riff. At least in this song. I don't know. Who knows? You know what? But uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We have this little noise track to give a little bit more. It's literally just five layers of noise that I panned in separate directions several years back. And I just use it in every song to give a little bit more natural life to the song. Because I use a lot of samples and, and uh, um, virtual instruments. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it interesting. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out the song and stay tuned for the next Behind the Scenes. Peace out.